Hi. Hi. We thought we'd do our version of our like podcast or our like our YouTube channel that yeah. someday we're going to have about yeah. leadership. <laughs> um, so the final question for the first assignment was in this module, in this module was to um, reflect on the one area that we believe we are going to struggle with most when it comes to courageous, courageous conversations. conversations. Yeah. And so we have been discussing this and um, we actually feel as though we struggle with a similar thing as we ha um, approach courageous conversations. And both of us have been in like varying leadership roles in the past. And so it's something that comes with us from those past roles experiences. and past experiences as well. Yeah. Yeah. And like, I think both of us are empathetic people. We're caring people. People really, um, easily uh, build trusting relationships with us and that's like great I mean that's something that they actually encourage in mm -hmm. all of the reading different reading we've done but mm -hmm. at the same time I find you get so f if it's like if it's a spectrum it's like you almost pass this threshold for which you care about that person so much that then your why um, or your your overarching framing around put kids first put the learning first it's like somehow it, it gets sort of covered up by your care for that individual. And we've yeah. also watched leaders that we've worked with who seem to make decisions based more around the, not their own popularity, but their own desire to please the people they're working with. Yeah. Right. And I think moving from a teacher role where your colleagues are and your peers are your friends and you are in a, that you are in a like very, um, very balanced relationship where you're not having to call them out in courageous conversations into a role where all of a sudden you are I think that that becomes like a very tricky thing to navigate and so and we've seen it too and I've seen both sides I've also mm -hmm. seen admin that kind of go in really hard mm -hmm. and that doesn't necessarily yield the best result either that like that one of the t the administrator I worked with this year he said like a lot of times that seems to just yield people putting their back up mm -hmm. and then not being open at all if you if you go in kind of not strategically enough. Right. And then you can't go in being best friends with everyone no. either. And so it is I Where's think, that balance? Yeah. And I think that that's both of us like entering into leadership just have to navigate like that balance piece and figuring out how we can have those conversations with people out of relationship but still um, be bold in the purpose of the conversation. Recently, um, I was with an administrator friend and the advice she gave that she said this is a change in her practice is that she, when she sits down with someone, she says, so why, why do you think we're sitting together today? Mm -hmm. And she told me like 10 out of 10 times people can identify what that thing is and how much it seems like reflecting and self-reflection is a powerful tool that then you're the facilitator of someone's self-reflection more than you can't be the teller of here's that thing that you need in your practice right or here's that like here's that thing that has to change yeah if you can if you can engage someone in powerful self-reflecting and that's going to lead to lasting change yeah um versus trying to always go at someone and i actually the administrator that i'm going to be working with this year she shared a story too where someone yeah. she'd worked with um over the last couple of years he came to her and he mm -hmm. said i messed up mm -hmm. and because of the times that she'd already kind of engaged him in self-reflection and she made her expectations so clear to the whole team that he goes i messed up i know what i did and here's what happened and here's how i'm gonna go fix it right and like great. how cool is that and it's setting up the norms beforehand to to be able to self-reflect yeah. right for your staff to be able to then say yeah yeah i can recognize this before i even have the conversation so i feel like the course has really reaffirmed a lot of things we know but it's i feel like it must be hard to remember all these things in and out every day absolutely so, and experience will help with that and that's why having friendships with other admin too or like other leaders is helpful of someone else to remind you of all those things absolutely so. okay that thanks for coming to our ted talk yeah bye